Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we are the squad and you are the studs. Guys, if you are new to this channel and you don't know who I am or what I do, I talk about men's lifestyle, fashion, and grooming. So if you like the video, you like the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so it can let you know whenever I post a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about manners for the modern man. Yes, you heard me right. I am not going to be talking how you should be pulling out chairs or opening every door. I'm just going to give you a summary or a quick over on what you guys should be keeping in mind whenever you're going around about your business. So for number one, I see this too often guys very annoying and it's even happened to me in some occasions where the other person is doing it and that is holding a conversation with earphones in particularly airpods now i don't have anything in specific or anything against airpods what i'm saying is that most of the time it happens to be the white stick sticking out of the person's ear they think that keeping them on just because it's a bluetooth it doesn't have a cable it doesn't bother the other person it makes them feel like you're lip reading what they're saying and you're not really listening and that's that could be a really distasteful thing. So avoid having those on whenever you're talking to somebody. Moving on, number two, don't talk about the brands you have on if no one's asking. Flexing is a pet peeve of mine, not just because it's starting to creep into our culture and we have this thing called flex or hype beast culture or whatever. No, no, just stop it, stop it. It's okay if you want to wear your brands. It's okay if your shoes, they have a golden bumblebee or whatever it is, that is fine. I have nothing against the brands. I actually like some of the brands. Personally, I don't use them. They're out of my budget. And I personally think there are better options out there. But if no one is asking about your clean white shoes, don't tell them what brand it is. If no one's asking about your jacket, don't talk about it. It's annoying, obnoxious, and it just makes you look like a tool. Why should anyone care what you have on? Except for you. So keep it low, don't talk about your stuff unless someone asks you, and then you can go off and say whatever you wanna say. Just keep it close to home. You don't wanna make anybody feel uncomfortable because they're talking with somebody with so much cash. Number three, politics or religion? Need I say more? Politics and religion are two topics that are extremely controversial. You don't want to get into that, much less in public. I've seen politics and the topic of religion destroy families, friends. It's just, it's incredible what it does just because somebody differs with whatever you believe in or whatever you think is right for the political views of you, wherever you're living at. So cut those out of conversations both publicly and in private, keep it to yourself. At the end of the day, both things are exclusively personal. If when you go and you sign the ballots and whatever and you drop them in the box, nobody's there with you and when you're going to church or you're doing whatever you're doing in your house, you're doing it alone, no one's there with you, there's no need for you to bring the topics up. Number four, please keep it low at restaurants. Yes, I am talking to the family that last week I saw over at that. I can't say the restaurant's name because I don't want to get in trouble for free marketing. But I was at a restaurant a couple of weeks ago and this family was so, so, so loud. It was obnoxious. It, who taught them manners? No one apparently because they didn't have this channel, right? Remember to like and subscribe. It's as if no one taught them how to be quiet or how to take things down a notch. They were way too excited. Laughter was way too high. I think there was a couple of beers or drinks involved and it just got to a point where I just wanted to leave the restaurant. If you want to keep it nice, simple, quiet for everybody's sake, please do so. It's good manners. Number five, sticking along the line of restaurants, food, and that sort of topic, hogging the food is number five. Let me explain. Before you think, wait a minute, but I have all my food, I need to eat. I'm a person, that's something that I do. Yes, of course, that's fine. But if you're at a party, it's a different story. With the COVID pandemic, you're not supposed to be at parties, but if you're going to be there because Christmas is coming up and whatever, then you should at least know You should at least know that you shouldn't be hogging the food table. Specifically because sometimes a lot of people have like foldable tables and they're quite small. Everybody's trying to make a line and just grab what they can get and just leave. 
That's the proper way to do it. Don't hold up the line. Don't go cutting in line. Don't go grab a bunch of food you're not gonna eat or just a bunch of food and stuff it in your purse or your backpack or whatever you're carrying that day and take it with you at home. Everybody else needs to eat as well. Make sure to leave some for them. And last but not least, number six is being aware of yourself or self-awareness in general. Think of this example. You got out of your car, you parked on some grass, you're walking, you don't notice there's mud on the floor, there's dirt, the floor's wet, whatever. You walk into your office and you have muddy shoes everywhere. Would you like that? No, it's your office, now it's all muddy. Now think of the other perspective. If you're the person with muddy shoes and you walk into somebody else's office, home, or just their personal space and you are making a mess, that can be really uncomfortable, that is bad manners, Make sure that you are self-aware. Whether you have dirty boots, if you're yawning, covering your mouth, covering your mouth when you sneeze or you cough, these are all things that you should be aware of. It's not just having good manners, it's also very sanitary to do so. You don't want to be walking around being a complete mess and people kind of talking about you because they know and they are aware that you're a person that doesn't really take care of themselves. Be mindful of that. Well guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification icon so you don't miss a single video that I make. Both, I'm trying to post twice a week now. I'm trying to put in twice the effort. I really, really enjoy this, guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you wanna follow me on social media, I post occasionally on Instagram. I will leave it down below. I have Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. So if you have any of those and you feel like you wanna follow or you wanna do whatever, or just check out my videos, go ahead and do so. They're down in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. Stay safe and stay stylish.